Hey everyone, if you're new, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about my experience through the Amazon Software Engineering Internship application process. So before we get started with today's video, I did want to mention that this is the second video of a series that I'm doing based off of my personal experience applying to internships this year. So if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you check out my previous video. I'll link it in the description. But basically the last video was just my general tips as well as my stats that I applied with. And then this video and the next couple videos will be more specific towards that company. And my last video will be comparing the offers that I got and why I chose to go with the company that I did for next summer. So I applied very early. The application opened around July 12th and I actually applied on July 12th. This is a lot earlier than it used to be. A lot of companies used to release in August around when you'd get back to school. But honestly, it's just getting early and earlier next year when you're seeing this video. It might actually be even earlier than July 12th. So make sure you're on the lookout for that because you should apply as early as you possibly can. So I applied on July 12th and then several days later on July 25th. I got the invitation to do the online assessment. If you don't know what the online assessment is for software engineering internships, they either give you like hacker rank problems or something similar, and you just do it within the time limit and try to pass as many test cases as you can. So I got the invitation to do it on July 25th, and I actually ended up doing it on July 27th. And in terms of what it was actually like, it was probably around easy to medium level leak code. I didn't think they were too bad, but definitely not a breeze either. So you definitely want to just know your data structures as well as like general ways to create algorithms for leak code type problems. And then for the online assessment, I was able to pass every single test case for every problem there was. It's definitely possible, but also you don't have to pass every single test case to move on to the next round either. I don't really know what the cutoff is, but just to give you a general idea. So I did forget to mention that along with the online coding assessment, they do have a secondary part of the online assessment that's like about your working style. I don't know if this is necessarily like an assessment per se, because honestly, they just want to learn more about your working style. So it was kind of like a survey where they just had a bunch of different questions kind of relating to Amazon's leadership principles. So I definitely read up on the leadership principles before taking this part. And then you just like rate on a scale how you would answer that question. So I definitely didn't think that was like too bad and not necessarily something you have to super prepare for because it is just asking you questions about yourself. And then after I did the OA, I did get an invitation to do the final interview. I got that email on July 29th and then I actually did the final interview August 15th. In terms of the final interview itself, it's only one interview and it consists of both a technical coding challenge as well as the behavioral all just in the time span of like I think it was like 45 minutes or an hour. So very very short in comparison to other companies. So for the behavioral, I definitely recommend reading up on Amazon's company values because they want to see how good of a fit you'd be to work at Amazon specifically. So for the behavioral part of the assessment, you do want to have like a structure for how you answer each question. Amazon recommends that you use the star method, which is pretty similar to the car method of like context, action, and result, if you've heard of that. And having the structure is really nice just so that you can really hit every single point that they're looking for. So if this is your first behavioral interview, I definitely recommend practicing some questions in this manner, just because it does take a little bit of practice to get used to. In terms of the technical portion, I'd say the technical was like a easy to medium leak code level. I definitely didn't think it was too bad. There's no guarantee that you get a question that's like around the same level that I got. It could be a little bit harder, but I don't think it would be as challenging as like the hard level of leak code either. So I definitely recommend just practicing a lot of like easy to just a little bit medium level for leak code, and then you should be completely fine with that. So then after I finished the final interview on August 15th, I got an offer super quickly. So I actually got the offer on August 18th. They just sent me an email saying that I was accepted into the program. So as you can see, I definitely recommend applying early as soon as the application comes out in July because you are able to hear back about an offer before even going back to school, depending on when your university semester starts. So if you have any takeaways from this entire video, I definitely recommend one, applying as early as you possibly can, be on the lookout for the application mid-July. 
Two, make sure you read up on the company values and think of behavioral stories. And then three, just do as many lead code problems as you possibly can. Honestly, that's really all I think you need to know for the Amazon Software Engineering Internship process. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload the videos about Roblox as well as Capital One. And see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Thank you.